It is pumpkin season everybody and that means we're getting crazy for pumpkin around here. Today we are making a very healthy, delicious, plant-based pumpkin alfredo. It's super creamy and tasty and I'll show you how to make it so fast. Let's go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. You know I like to make healthy plant-based recipes without the added oil and other junk because it's all about living that healthy life. And today we're making another fall festive video in our series, this one with pumpkin puree. There it is. We get real excited for pumpkin around here, but you can make this one anytime because you know these cans of pumpkin do go on sale big time after the season from like two bucks a can to like 50 cents a can. You know I bought this last year, but we're doing it this year, whatever. This is so easy, there's a little bit of chopping to do, so let's jump right in so you can eat this thing for dinner tonight. Here we go. Let's throw together our sauce so that that's all done and ready, and then we can just throw it all together at the end. This has just a few simple ingredients. The recipe for this is right down below in the description box. Reeb's made a beautiful blog post, so check that out and you'll have all the amounts for everything. We're throwing in some raw, these are just raw cashews. Throw them in the blender. If you don't have a high speed blender, you might wanna soak them so you could put the soy milk and the cashews together for 20 minutes and get them a little bit softer, but we don't have to worry about that because there is a Vitamix here. Throw in some soy milk and we've got a little bit of that Well Your World non-fortified nutritional yeast. Our price is amazing. The flavor is delectable. So go to the Well Your World website and get yourself some of our nooch. I think you're gonna love it. Throw that nooch into the blender as well. And then I've got that can of the pumpkin puree, okay? Throw in that whole can of puree. Oh yeah. This is a pumpkin-y Alfredo if you're just joining us. So what if you wanted to use frozen butternut squash? Ooh, you could definitely use some frozen butternut squash. Let it thaw maybe, but the blender will do the work for you too. And you could toss in the butternut and make this just delightful. Okay, here we go. Let's blend it up, shall we? It's looking a little bit thick, so you could either throw in a little more soy milk or just take, we're gonna use about a quart of veggie stock in this recipe. I love this specific one. It is a low sodium, not a no sodium, but it is no added oil, which is important for me. And so I love the flavor of that one. Let's get this thing blended up. So I just added as much veggie stock as you need to make the sauce blend real nice. We're gonna be adding it when we put everything together anyway. So you're just gonna kinda get the consistency of the sauce that you most desire. Now let's do some chopping, how about it? I've got a pound of mushrooms here. These are the brown mushrooms. You can use the white mushrooms, it doesn't matter. And then one yellow onion. So let's get this stuff diced up, throw them in our pan, and we'll do a little sauteing on the stove. How about it? Stove, stove, stove. stove, stove. Let's get to the stove. Get a pot of water going too because we're gonna cook some pasta. So bring a pot to a boil. Reeves and I absolutely love this red lentil penne pasta for this kind of stuff. Any kind of whole wheat pasta is great too. A chickpea pasta, whatever. This is about a half a pound of pasta but you'll probably have enough sauce to do a whole pound if you want to. It's up to you. Okay, let's get this sizzling. I'm turning up the heat on our mushrooms and our onions. And then all we gotta do is add a little flavor after we get this going. Such an easy recipe, I'm telling you, anybody can do this stuff. You don't have to be a chef. There is no chefery needed, ever. This one is almost as easy as my healthy hamburgerless helper. So check that one out right here too. And all of our delicious fall flavor recipes. Mm -mm -mm. I hear that sizzle, which means it's time to start stirring. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of juice just to get things going. A little veggie stock or water, whatever you prefer. I really like veggie stock in this one and for all the fall recipes because it does give me a little nostalgic fall kind of flavor. But you know, I'm not picky. We're adding some herbs and spices to this so it won't matter whether you do water or veggie stock, whatever you prefer. Just let it saute, just let all that water evaporate and then maybe I'll add stock one more time. I usually let it dry out twice, you know what I mean? In the next go, we'll throw in our herbs and spices and get it all delectable. Our water is boiling, so I'm gonna throw our pasta into the pot, give it a little stir, and you can turn down the heat and just let it boil for whatever the box says. I think this one's nine minutes, right? Mmm, this is a nice smelling stove right now. Let me tell you, I love the smell of sauteing mushrooms and onions. It's my favorite. I also love the steam bath that I get when I lean my face over the stove. You look beautiful. It's time to add some flavor. Now, the pumpkin isn't the only thing that makes this super fall tasting. I've just got some ground dry sage. You can use you know, any kind of dry sage. It doesn't have to be ground necessarily. And some rosemary. Oh yeah, get it in there. Some thyme. Oh, it smells so good. 
and then some garlic, minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic, you can use garlic powder, whatever. Now we gotta add a little bit more broth so we can mix all this together and then we'll just let it saute for another minute or two and we'll be ready. I forgot one thing. We've got a whole nutmeg right here and I'm just gonna grind in a little bit of freshly ground nutmeg. Oh, I can smell it already. That should be plenty. And some black pepper maybe, how about it? Now, if you wanna be really lazy, you can use my famous mushroom gravy mix for sale on our website. It has a lot of the same fall flavors in there and some potato, so it'll give it a little bit of thickness. Optional, try it out, let me know what you think. It has the nooch in there too. There is some nooch in here as well. So it's all similar flavors to all this. You could do this in lieu of the cashews. If you're trying to keep it super low fat, you could take the cashews out, use the mushroom gravy mix with the pumpkin, and that will thicken it up with the potato so that you don't even need the cashews. How about that, sports fans? I know a lot of people use your mushroom gravy as a soup base. Yeah, and it wasn't even my idea, it was y'all's idea. And then I started doing it and I was like, dang, that does work, that's pretty cool. Ooh. This is looking all ready to go. This is smelling very fall in here. I feel right at home with my pumpkin shirt. I love a chunky sauce like this. It's just gotta be chunky for me. Our pasta still has a couple more minutes, but we are ready. The liquid has evaporated again. So let's throw in our whole pitcher here of the beautiful pumpkin Alfredo sauce. Now is when you get to decide just how thick you want this thing. I'm gonna throw in, like you could throw in a cup or two cups of veggie stock, depending on how thick you want it. It's totally up to you. And then just give it a nice stir and you're gonna see this thing come right together. It's gonna start splattering though if you have your heat too high. So now you could start to bring your heat down a little bit and let this thing just kind of simmer for a minute or two. As you can see, this is plenty of sauce for at least a whole pound of pasta or more. Let's taste this sauce. Mmm! Oh my goodness, I forgot how good that is. Our pasta is rocking ready. I'm going to just start ladling in some sauce, however much sauce you like. And then along with that, you can either chop the spinach or leave it whole. I'm gonna leave it whole because it wilts real fast. So put like a nice big handful or two in there. The spinach is optional, but it's really healthy and it's very tasty. Take our spoon, we'll stir everything together. It's already piping hot. I didn't rinse my pasta or anything, so everything's nice and hot. And then this will all just come together. And I think Reeves is gonna want a little more sauce in there. So actually I did use most of the sauce. Yeah, you did. But I like it saucy. I still think it's probably enough sauce for a whole pound of, of pasta. Let's go over to the countertop and give it a taste. Now you got options. If you want a little salty flavor on top, you can use my salt substitute, my stardust, and just sprinkle a little bit on there. It is so good. Or you could just grind some more pepper on top, whatever you prefer. Now let's see what we got here. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, that's hot. Mmm, that is so good. Even better than I remember. I love this recipe. Reeves is taking that taste. Reeves, um, get um, in there. Well, first I was taking my whiff. Mmm, that is so nice. good. You thought I was doing too many mushrooms at first, but it wasn't. That was, a pound of mushrooms is great in this. They really shrink down. The spinach does too. Oh. I love all the fall flavors. Get back here and send us off, Dill. Yo, you've got to make this for dinner tonight. I know you've got a spare can of that pumpkin in the pantry from last year. <laughs> Am I right? Click the link down below for the recipe. Don't delay. Make it today. And right here, we've got a whole playlist of more festive fall recipes. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.